What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Patrick Blackwood. I'm going to talk about what happened yesterday with my practice and my training and how I view this in life. Now, you got to stay tuned for it, man. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like and share and comment. And here goes the story. Ooh. 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 Man, today is another beautiful day. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is... 55 degrees and it's gonna be high of 64. I can't wait. This is beautiful. Man, oh man, listen, I wore shorts the other day. You hear me? Shorts. I wore shorts the other day. You do know what I mean? It's got to get warm in here, man. This is crazy. This is what I needed. I need that energy. So you know. Practice was amazing. Uh, it was warm than I expected. It was at 48, no wind. Bruh, it was like Florida, but with some mountains. <laughs> so I really went out there and did my thing, man. And uh, I had a little malfunction with my shoulder pads. My my laces broken off. And I got to had I had to go ahead and fix the whole thing and all that stuff. And Man, it was crazy, yo. Like, we was going through the our warm ups, and I was just, I just felt good. I just felt like myself. I felt authentic to myself. Like, I felt it in my being. I felt it in my spirit, and I noticed that everything that I put forward, the energy I put forward. I'm going to get back. And I had to make so many changes of my life to get where I want to be right now. You know, so I learned a lot about myself of the things that I've done in the States until now um, by holding my integrity. My integrity will suck, y'all. I ain't going to lie to y'all. My integrity sucked. But the responsibility that I had with this team it's crazy, man. Let me see life differently. I hold myself so much more accountability. And everybody look at me as a leader. So you can't go wrong with what you're doing or what you're holding, you know? So yesterday practice shows a lot more about myself and what I value myself and just knowing that I'm the only African American on this team and those cultural bases um, I had to hold myself with integrity I had to show that I'm a powerful man I had to show myself including myself that I can do this. I've been in this situation before in Marshall University, but we're just pure African American. So you know what I'm saying? It's predominant. West Virginia is predominant. It's not, it has our culture there, but uh, Huntington, West Virginia is a, a little bit more different from Morgantown and everything else. So this means a lot to me and the game I love means a lot to me. And this opened up a lot more doors for me, knowing that I build my confidence by being myself and understanding what I want from my heart and, and attacking it head on. And not only that, give me appreciation of correcting videos for you guys and having the confidence to talk to you guys sincerely and see that it's coming from the heart, you know? So my first training was shaky. It was shaky as hell. It was very cold. It was one of those things that I could never shake off, especially when you come to a new country, not knowing the fact that the wind gust itself is like very high here. And knowing that the longitude, the latitude is part of Vermont, 
this is what my coach is telling me. So I believe him. I really believe what he's saying because I, he lives in Poland <laughs> and Poland's cold, you know? So he knows more than me. I haven't lived here. I haven't lived in a out of the country in a very long time. So it's just like, it's a different uh, adaptation of the climate, the people, the culture itself. And yeah, man, it's, it's a different feeling. You had to adapt and it, it's making me adapt and make me understand um, you can't take anything for granted from the States versus from a small town from 50,000 people. Uh, technology, you know what I'm saying? Technology is different from here. They, they still use taxi. I'm not saying that Uber is not taxi. It's like, it's digitally, it's on your phone. You have to call to get a taxi here. So that's different. It's a little bit backwards. They use the trains. They use a lot of the buses. We are not saying that we don't use buses, but just because we have all these resources makes it more easier for us in America to get to point A to B. You get what I mean? So that, but getting back to my story of my train to last night, man, I was firing to all cylinders. I felt great. My body felt great. Uh, my awareness felt great. I just felt like I was ready for the season. And I know it for a fact I was ready for the season. Everything that I've trained from the running back academy from Florida, from uh, Beck Smith, from Atlanta Academy, taking in all of that, learning from D1, learning all the stuff that I learned from, all the facilities I learned from Florida. I harnessed this new beginning of myself because if it wasn't for my determination, but it honestly, if it wasn't for my ex-girlfriend uh, supporting me and being there for me and understanding it and understanding my feelings, man, it was a lot. It was a lot to get me where I'm at right now, man. Like, I really command her. She had my back from the jump. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shout out to her, man. Like, it makes me the person who I am today. I had to build my own character at the end of the day as when you be alone, you get to understand yourself. But training was like, I was on a different league. Everything couldn't go wrong. I trust my eyes. This is one thing when you when you're playing a sport or when you're doing something that you love to do and you have passionate, you start to see it differently. Everything starts to move slowly. And one thing that I noticed, I really, I really like started to trust my eyes trust my instincts a lot and that's what I have I have natural born instincts when it comes down to playing my position as a running back I know how to be very deception I watch the grace play like the Barry Sanders the <clears throat> the Earl Campbell the OJ Simpson especially Barry Sanders I, I love his game I love Saquon Barkley game I love who else? I love, there's a lot of people that I love their game, especially Saquon, how he set up his blocks. I use that Le'Veon Bell. I love Le'Veon Bell game because he's just so very patient and he know how to set up his blocks. Adrian Peterson. So he was just a natural born, AP was a natural born, just competitor himself. But the way that I, imitate my game from Le'Veon Bell to the Saquon Barkley and then once you see the hole hit it and I had great people around me like my boy Elliot I can send him my film and say like yo what do you think I should work better and this is a guy that I train with all the time you get what I mean like he won't stare me wrong I know we, we've been competitors we've been going to showcases together and I'm not 
I'm not upset saying that he's better than me. He is better than me. But I look up to him because I have a competitor inside me to make myself a better player. And I can understand that. And I, he knows I'm a hard worker and I can work for it. And same thing with my running back coach. They know that. You know what I'm saying? So that what makes me the ultimate competitor. I'm a great competitor. I'm a best. I'm a good player. And I believe the gladiators start to realize that, that, man, every running play, he's hitting the positive yards. He's not going negative. There's no negative. There's no negative plays. I'm not saying there won't be a negative play, but I trust my instincts. I trust my eyes and I trust my awareness of getting out of certain situations when you go against defense. You got to remember in life, there's, you're playing chess, you're not playing checkers. And I noticed that when I'm on the field, I'm playing chess. I noticed that anytime I have the ball, right? Every time I have the ball, the defense is moving. If I move left, if I move left, defense moving left. If I'm moving right, they're moving right. So I realized that in my mind, in my mind, it's a domino effect. So you got to understand that all these pieces, it's laid out as a domino, right? But you don't want it to lay down as a pattern. You want to break the pattern to get where you need to go, like the touchdown. So I noticed that. And it makes my life much easier to, that's the best way I can use that analogy to make you guys understand what I'm talking about. That's the best way I can realize I can, I manipulate the defense to do what I want to do. You can't make the defense do what you want to do. Defense will do that when you go against a really great defense and you got to just take what they give you. But you got to understand that you got the, your, you have the ability to change how they move. Just remember that in life, you have a choice to make things work in your favor. So that's the best analogy I can tell you how to use this. My analogy, when you're playing football or in life and you're playing receiver or you're playing quarterback and you're, you have the choice to make it work. If you have to put the extra work in, the only extra work in is, is here, man. It's here, here, and here. Ain't nowhere else. <laughs> Ain't nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? So I noticed that from the get-go. and I did not understand that eight, ten years ago because I was just really hard worker. But now I'm locked in to... My crap, I'm locked in on everything. So I hope you guys cherish this video. I hope you understand this video. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Love. This is the favorite blitz. They brought those two outside guys.